continue the fight with Jug and Slada. But Juggernaut does give you that building hitter, and someone with sustain like as well to take down towers. And it's actually it was a hasted up Rubik to make that play. Yeah, and that's something that we were talking about before. You were not expecting that this is a TA favored matchup. Well, what do you think it is? Just straight up outplay is, oh, yo, coming in to save the day. They are going to be able to find a kill onto Kaiser in spite of that CS lead and magical. No refraction for eight more seconds. He is going to die. Not able to save him a second time there. Yeah, I, I didn't well, top lane, they're going in for the kill now on to 3-3. But have help from the CM as well as that Slarder, and they find the kill. But now Juggernaut stuck underneath the tower, drops the healing ward, in some trouble. It's going to die. J4 ends up punishing there. The healing ward, while the other two look for a kill, they could take this here against Magical. It would really be a huge boon to him. Have the Hurl Boulder as well. Infernal Blade to break through those stacks of Refraction and... Well, is this the TA answer? You just run at them with Infernal Blade. It looks like it. <laughs> it looks like it. But that's the thing, right? The two supports just appear out of nowhere. They just come in and kill. And speaking of kills, Galato has died to a CM rotation. So Chip Plus 4 actually gets something for their troubles. Oh, they're looking for the kill, though, on to Clockwork. They find it with the Fade Bolt. J4. Diving deep for that one. It will reveal the... This is a very tanky guy and hard to take down. And if they aren't careful, they have a hook stomp here as well to try and turn this as they are going to drop the Hummy Slash onto Milan. Far too far forward. Now Batrider in trouble as well. 3-3 three, three is in a hell of a lot of trouble, but they might be able to kill off another. They bring in four, though. That finds the kill with the Clockwork. Arc will die, but everybody else gets out. Oh, yeah. That damage over time. Firefly is... They're very single focused on taking down the bot tier one. Maybe if they dragged another couple of heroes in or bought some bot. Uh oh. Yo, he does end up going for it, but J4 is going to die before Yo does it. Yo, able to run away. The wolf does finally take him down, but we have the healing ward here as well. Chip plus four arc is in trouble. They find the stomp, and now no more healing ward up. No more nothing, actually, but. Tier 2 tower will keep him survivable. In mid lane, there's more action going on. 3-3 is going to be brought down. Do far too deep for that one. And Kaiser is going to be forced to ball lightning away from this. Yes, Although, again, Mag going for it. Has him in the cogs. Kaiser, all right, now he didn't end up going for the cogs play. Bottom, more action going on, though. And they are finally going to bring down the Juggernaut. But now the Nova is there as well. And Magical has shown up. Yo is here sprinting forward. Going for the crush. Actually decides to not go for it. And that might keep Garter alive. Well, no, okay. He just walks back into the TA. In the meantime, Milan is dead. The Jukes are there. But so too is the trap. And will be a kill on the Garter. Have they left their TA to die, though? Now he's underneath the Batrider. And with the Flaming Lasso committed, just all hell is broken loose. What the hell is happening? Yo, Lyrical, the wolves are chasing the Crystal Maiden. Oh, no. All right, good call. Just play Mag. Saving a buddy. <laughs> which is, you know, roughly about the same amount that the Slarder is. So if you can shut down the offlaner in that way, it's not terrible as we do have more battles coming in. CM Ulti up on the high ground. It's hidden onto a hell of a lot of them. Trying to keep Ark alive like in Diamond for this one. The Healing Ward, the Frostbite. He's still alive at the end of the day. And, well, it does look like maybe Yo can run him down. He's still got no more Shapeshift. And now the Crutch is going to come. Garter going to fall. Somehow, some way, they take down three and don't lose a hero there it's sort of you know on one hand if they're not bringing everybody to the fight as they have been able to catch now trying to find the kill on the starter they are going to get that doom comes out now as well onto that is that the juggernaut who's didn't chase down here no it's just the clockwork but yeah no more spells coming out as three are going to die the other way and that is a good amount of gold going towards kaiser's bloodstone is that right again they can or should dive this at all like if storm was there mag dies and maybe a plus one dies as well but storm needs uh, to move over here sharpish all right chip taking a lot of damage but they will kill off that doom they kill the crystal maiden storm just keeps finding target after target then they can sing about the juggernaut at the end of the fight uh, one unfortunate factor makes them lose their doom and not gain anything, but it looks like they might find Yol up at the top. Oh, wasn't able to hit on that crush, and now is going to be pulled back in and killed off. How used. Yeah, but he's really gone. Oh, yeah. There's the Omni. There's the everything. He's gone, but yeah, Storm Spirit is going to fall into this now, and Rubik has stolen Omni Slash. They take down Furby, and can they find any more? There still is the healing ward going to go for the immediate spin TP, and they don't have the damage to kill him off. Heads up play there by the Dyer to get out.
You can hook in, you can find solar kills, you can buy uh, like a multitude of items, right? He's so open with his item build. You can buy Midas. That's one of them. As ship plus four arc. Mr. Ark in a little bit of trouble, but Yola's there. The big blink connects on to two of them. Is it going to be enough? Clockwork is in as well, but they've already lost their juggernaut. And now, oh, Slardar doomed as well. That could have gone better. That could have gone a hell of a lot better. But now Clockwork is in trouble also. They're going to have a flame break to push him back in. Mag going to drop three dead. It was looking like it could have been a turn, but it's never meant to be. That attack. went from bad to worse really, really. They're gonna end up needing to come and rotate for this because this is gonna be Roshan going down very quickly. They hook shot in, trying to create that separation. Milan is controlled. Now they jump into it. They want to kill off Storm Spirit, but the CM ulti has already come down as well. A really good catch, and that's gonna end up being a kill on a CM. Already dead. This is looking terrible right now for Arc plus four. Oh, baby, baby, baby. They did end up getting the Aegis for themselves, but not, not at all the way they wanted to go. What an absolute mess. With Clockwork, when you get a hook shot like that. I, I, I don't think he can get out of this one. Uh, maybe? Storm Spirit's gonna jump, there's gonna be the pull, and yeah, now it comes down. Like, it just feels like sloppy plays right now. And now Yo comes in, save your buddy syndrome, but they're not gonna do anything, and they're just gonna end up losing two here probably. Are gonna go down, and now you run in with the Clockwork. Maybe Magical can clean up, and no, the Omni Slash stolen from J4. Are you kidding me? Again, that Jake was steals Omni Slash, uses it when he's on like 70 HP to escape from a TA ganking him, so he like dodges out of her attacks because uh -oh. he's really been in. And now you have the CM going to be brought back in to die yet again. Does get a decent ulti off it about three times onto those heroes, but I don't know if it's going to be nearly enough. And now Magical controlled Ranet. It's fine. He's not going to die, right? I don't think so, unless Mag can do something here. Uh, oh, he got it. Yeah, it's nicely done. Pops the Howl as well. They turn to fight. Taken down more. Garter not at all afraid. He's just going to run back in again. And Star's <laughs> and everybody. And Storm Spirit keeps on DC and Get your stuff together, Mr. Kaiser. You already won the damn game. Let's see it happen. Uh, and they are going to try and... Well, just... Now, Fervian is going to die. Oh, God. That was the worst. And now Ark also going to die. Do you just GG? Yeah, like, you should have... And the Juggernaut. And, and, like, the Juggernaut isn't even necessarily reliable because he can't stay on these targets and fights. And now Milan going to break the smoke, but they are going to run right at him, start to blow him up. They are going to find that kill before they end up finding anybody else from the side of Pro Dota. They can't chase this, though, now. Blink Dagger's about to be back off cooldown. They have the Lycan Wolves there. They need to be a little bit sure, and they're doing a great job of blanking the Blink Dagger. Yo, now he's going to end up being brought down, but now they get the Orchid as well on the Storm Spirit. They find the Crush. Is it going to be enough damage? They have brought him down. Magical trying to run away, but there is the Flaming Lasso down, and, well, able to get away with the Mantis style. Immediately going to spin TP. So they get out with two after they end up losing. Well, are they going to get out with Slardar? Yo, trying to blink away? It's looking pretty good. He somehow just barely gets out of there. Woo! Is he free? They have uh, oh, man. Yeah, and there's the Orchid. It could have been. But this is what Batrider is great at, right? Like, you jump in, you find one person, pull him back in, and that person might just be Ark, as he has been caught. They are grouped up now for a big stun. No! Yo, he got his Blink Dagger broken, though, by walking through the flames. Oh, and now that's going to be it. The Cogs are there on to two. Fervian trying his best with the ultimate, but it's not going to be there. The Doom is there for TA, and GG is going to be called. Yeah. Chip plus four, like, desperately needed to find the initiation. Perfect start for team fight. But when he the other ones... Uh, it, it, Ten seconds it enables remaining. and really improves the uh, sort of combo Sam's ability Sam's there with like Ducks here and Disruptor, but it caught out a lot. That has to not happen. Like J4 is not allowed to die a lot this game as Shadow Shaman. He needs to hit six at a reasonable time. Like hey, check this one out. This is pretty fancy. First blood drawn by Magic. Up this a little bit, right? Like he's got level two at this point. Um. Am I wrong in that? Or I guess they just want to focus on killing off Carter instead. Nice shackles. There's the search forward. Wants to punch him in the head and does manage to find it. The ducks here punch. Uh, and like, there's, there's just no way to do it. He might be. There's, oh, Hadouken comes out as well for a little bit of extra bonus damage. But with the Io there, 
is going to be enough to keep him alive. J4 manages to take down Mag instead, and now Yoel under a little bit of trouble. you got to be careful. A little right clicks from Shadow Shaman. This one's hurt. Does 74 damage a pop. Yeah, the Charger jumped back on himself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, uh, he can come out of this, but is going to die nonetheless. Yoel taking the tower for Magical. Make sure he doesn't end everywhere except that one dark spot to the east of the reasoning of tier one. But now he's got vision of that. They should realize that there is a Spear Breaker charging in. A lot of damage done. They just destroy that spin. It is going to be Io living through this, though, and now slowing down Yol with the tether movement. So Fergan's going to be struggling for a lot of this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two kills in about a minute for that. I, I know. Yeah, they're going to be able to go on to him. A good bit of damage. Needs a bash. At least one. It's not coming, though, and he isn't going to get lucky this time around. In the bottom lane, they're able to find a kill onto the Uh-oh. He's found Milan. Uh, that's going to end up being one. Maybe another because you don't have any mana on the Shadow Shaman. Almost level six, but it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Now the Earth Shock and about to be in range. He's juking around, but not able to get out. And they're also going to be able to glimpse away 3-3. Three, three. He thought about repelling there, but realized it would be much They know that the Spirit Breaker is coming as well. They pinged him out. He just wants to party. He just wants to get Omni Slash. Yeah, he doesn't know any other life. Uh, it happens. It happens to the best. You've got relocate and surf and wards. Hit towers easily. Uh-oh. Yo. Oh, they get the shackles after the stun comes through. Yo, oh no. He just knows no other life. That's what he does. He just wanted to go in, Oracle. He just wanted yeah. to go in. Now they know where Furbian is. They've scouted them out with the orb. I don't think they've chased oh, them. Oh, God. Sir, it's God. Fast I mean, they just is. repel and they're going to chase him, but they don't have the movement speed to keep up as of yet. Drop the static storm. He ends up walking through it, though. Uh, now you're in a very awkward place. The charge comes through again, going to connect. Milan is going to drop his magical shut up as well as Mac. Vacuum to break the shackles, but they've already killed off the disruptor off to the side. Doesn't matter though, because they took down the Omni and the Wisp, and now also going to get J4 and farm up some wards to boot. Omni Knight had 10 stick charges and GA. Slightly involved in help be a part of the kill or save somebody at the very least, but him not being there, he didn't really pull way ahead in terms of farming out. Who are they going to run? God, if they can find Kaiser right here, this would be huge. Oh. Man, that, is, that is the tightest of angles. Smoke's going to pop now. All right, they know. They're, they're going to be able to spot this out. They walk out. There's the fourth step away, but now the vacuum onto two. Static Storm has been dropped onto them as well. They've taken the kill only onto the Shadow, uh, Shadow Shaman. And now Magical pops in Rage. Just going to go for the TP away. They were able to glimpse them so that that way there wasn't an Astral. Big play by Disruptor to save his carry. That was huge. People. Oh, they know. The charge through. Hits onto Milan, but now, again, yo, they take the Omni Slash. That's not bad. They, uh, it's so hard to fight into this, though. They need the Static Storm, and it's back up in two seconds. They're thinking about going in now. Mag is also on the outside as well. Has Vacuum Wall. They pop GA, running into all of them. Vacuum Wall onto three. Is it going to be enough? Magical is there as well. The right click's coming through. Can they kill off Kaiser, though? He's repelled up, so the R Static Storm didn't do quite enough. Mag being controlled. Sanity's Eclipse could come out in just a second or two. Roshan still stands though. Ark needs to take it down right now and it is going to end up picking it up. There's the Aegis. Kaiser now also going to get ran down. Can they have another stun? Mask of Madness pop. He had Storm Hammer up so he wasn't able to stun. Oh, that would have been the moment. He popped Mask and he didn't stun. Oh dear. That could have been huge though. Static Eclipse was still being held because even though OD hit a bunch of people, uh -huh. Even though Odie hit a bunch of people, it's still level. It was only level one arc at all. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yol? Is he really gonna get away from this? Uh, what yeah, a guy. Apparently, apparently, charge is a very good spell. But yeah, he only had level one arc at all in the fight, so he actually a little bit longer with the Juggernaut and Odie still needing to kind of bridge the gap between their early game actions and their mid game. But like, they want to scarf the scarf. That is, there was no way. Radiance They dropped everything. Immediate death. And that's why people say that Ursa is a counter to Jug. I will say that there's still the problem of like dealing with pushing high ground that uh, you're gonna have to always contend with for Chip Plus Four. It's not a, it's not an easy push. That being said, you also don't have the best wave clear for Pro Dota. Uh, J4 is probably the best with the Aether Shock, but even that's it's not great. 
Well, yeah, the best thing is that PD don't have that many sources of magical damage in the early game, so the Dire haven't had to go to PD, right? They can get their BKBs at their leisure, you know, 40, 50 minutes into the game, to deal with the OD. And then OD becomes a non-hero for, a, you know, a good 10 minute period, basically, because they can't hit people with Arcane, all of them can't kill the Thors. No, it's true. And that is the nice part about it. So, I mean, it'll allow them to win fights. Said you also don't have the best. No, it's true, and that is the nice part about it. But he immediately pops that and is going to be able to find the kill onto that Shadow Shaman farm of the war. They go on to Milan, the IO, but he's games go a long ways without having a BKB. And like so simply executed, they go from target to target, use a stamina. Yeah, totally. This could be big. They're going on to the jug. Do they realize? Down by PD, but not at a fast enough rate to kind of threaten Chip plus four. But as soon as this kind of easily. But that doesn't really halt Chip plus four. Like... But as soon as this kind of. Oh! And that was, and that, that was a, with a, that was with a <laughs> miscommunication between Disruptor and Darkseer as well. Like they threw Static oh. Storm and Kinetic Field, then they missed Vacuum Wall, like further to the left of it. But still, with a Sven having blinked Mask of Madness with. Oh my god. Um, yeah, Chip plus four, they can go back and defend their lanes. Uh, that's what happens. Yeah. Oh, they're looking at it. 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 They're looking Occasionally, you just die. Radiance Middle Tower. Now they're doing what they need to do, right? They shove this bot lane. It's across the river. They can maybe get Serpent Wards onto the tier two. Shadow Shaman's still lurking around. I think I think it goes for this, honestly. Yeah, you're, you're getting a tower. This is what they need to do. Just to a team that likes to run at you, and their tier threes are exposed. You know what to do it. Still, you know what I'm waiting for. It. Yeah, just do it. It's true. Oh, sure. Oh, just play. Not there. Not there. And now, stunned again. Wrapped around upon. He did not get. Oh, he got the kill. 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 OD's farming illusions though, 5 gold, 5 gold, 5 gold, 5 gold, 5 gold, 5 gold. Hey man, you gotta take what you can get. He like jumping. Oh man, they can't get too testy though. Everybody else is right there up on the high ground. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 Fine. 
now I'm doing battle. It's not the high ground yet. The West is up. Oh, and Danny's been beaten. The next storm takes him down. Kaiser going to go down as well. And that actually should be the end of it. A triple kill for Sven. Going for more. He doesn't quite get the kill on a 3-3, but GG is called nonetheless. And that actually should be the end of it. So that if they take a fight now, they don't get split pushed and wrapped a uh, bot tier 3. Oh, blink away. There's the... <laughs> or if you're baited into a team fight with a lane push... <laughs> ...has been allowed to go through this entire drafting until the 10th pick. That's, that's insane. I speak for the trees. They even place a ward on their own high ground by the tier two, and Yol just walks forward. He has no idea. There's gonna be the fissure, the sun strike, the root, and the first blood as well. Given to the invoker on the first class. Oh, that is so good. Sides feeling comfortable trading hits with the Legion while the pole comes out and, well, end up missing first blood because... Uh, the TP on the courier, though. Well, going for it. Not going to get there. Mag just going to take that time to instead farm up a little bit. But, yeah, this is... I, I feel like Ricky has lost his chance where he can be effective. Like, CM is already level 3. Okay. Legion kills the wall in the middle of the creep Mid lane is going to be a fight as well. But they're already on to Magical and... Oh, well, the right click's coming through. Yol trying to man up, see if he can do something. They do not have Sunstrike queued up as of yet. CM going to drop it. She stepped too far forward. And Kaiser taking some damage. Nature's Prophet comes in. He's going to find that kill as well. J4 way overstepping his bounds there. Like, you want to try and make space so they can get Invoker to the hand of Midas. Not that far away. He did go for this double null magic one build, which is very defensive. But that's you know, due to the fact that Ember Spirit and Ricky can play so aggressively. Ooh, Fervian top. They're bringing in the Nature's Prophet though. They want to try and do it. They might end up dying if they get the overwhelming nuts. No! He had it off cooldown and oh, the taunt coming out as well. Mag feeling himself. I don't know if it's an automatic. It's not the auto turn, right? Oh, wow. Oh. Something happened over to the side here. He spots out Fervian. I don't think that they can do it though. Not enough levels in Sunstrike to find an early kill, but well, the dive forward misses his remnant. Still gonna hit the chains, but now the Frostbite comes in. The Fissure as well, the turn it, Yola's there. Tornado, well, double remnant forward, that'll be enough for the kill. Melon's in trouble as well in the back. Mag has face boots and a lot of damage. Oh my god. All right, yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. That I believe they do have chains. He has a TP. It might be enough to get him out of there, but yeah, you're gonna save the chains and just wait for it to kill Garter now. No way out of that one. They even bring the light him down. There's a DD rune down the bottom spot as well. Oh, Yol again scouting things out here. He has blades of attack, has that smoke cloud to drop down, trying to man up, see if they can take down one. They end up killing off that invoker nonetheless, but they were able to find a kill onto Yol. Unfortunately, they lost the CM because of it. Now 3-3 coming in, wants to duel this. Can he get into range of mag? I don't think so. This guy is pretty quick with those phase boots. I wanted the taunt, but it didn't happen. M Milan ever bodyguarding the Kaiser invoker. They're sitting there with the invis, but now you have CM coming in as well as the duel. All right, they're able to find it. Sunstrike comes, they find that kill. Now with the Lycan running in, can they do anything else? Wrath of Nature, doing a good bit of damage, bringing everybody low. Fissure is going to be back off cooldown in four seconds. And it looks like that is going to be enough to stop Chip Plus Four. Wanting to make a play towards the bottom here. Ricky is scouting out the troll. Still hard to go on that guy, but they have found Kaiser. They're going to drop the rock immediately onto him. He is going to try and walk away from this one. Gets the tornado out, but Ember chasing. They find that kill. See a multi comes down. Not quite enough damage, but they will be able to take down the Nature's Prophet. Now facing up against Magical. Can they have enough damage to bring him down? It doesn't look like it, but likewise, he is not comfortable taking this fight either. Yola is being chased, as too is Fervian. They have that, oh, catch the Enchant Totem and the Fissure lands on to Yol. Don't know if they spot him out there, but they are able to find two for the cost of their Invoker's life. Uh-oh, Ark, he might be in trouble here as well. They 
have another frostbite available, but they're coming in with mag. They do end up popping the frostbite now. Kaiser running away. The dust is still there. The Wrath of Nature to finish him off. And now, well, CM is going to be taken down by the big bad wolf. Wow. Okay, that is not really bad for the Raiden. Carter there tipping his hand. They might have been able to catch him with a duel. Otherwise. Oh, Milan, top lane. Yeah. One charge okay, pops. So they just profit team deal with Nature's Profit. Right. Because Mag does, look, look at him, Solar Crest drops face boost, he does 130 damage pretty much. And he's very, very tanky. Yeah. Well, this is what's very tough about this game right now for them. Uh, have to go in, find the smoke pick off, and like cheekily uh, kill the vibes with time and space. Oh, he came in right as the chains came down. They find that kill. Yol is here. They spot him out. This is going to be at least something. So they're going to be able to find a kill onto the Ricky. They would have loved to give that one away to the Invoker, but does not end up happening. Here we go. They don't see this moment right now. They're going to be able to find this. The Fissure coming in from the low ground. Needs to guess. You got to go for it. Fissure connects. They got him. That's going to be a kill onto this Nature's Prophet. I believe, possibly, maybe, no, able to walk away from that one. 3-3 three, three is so mad, can't find the kill. Oh, Mac just gets away, and now Wrath of Nature. Just to throw out a little bit more. This would be a good pick here, though, if they could find the Lycan. He is just outside of range, smoking a break right now. They spot him, Echo Slam used, everything dot, and there's the duel of the boot. They find that kill. That's huge. Kaiser getting blasted as well, so... Yeah, and Yol gonna be able to blink away, still stunned up, pops his ulti to try and stay alive, but I think it is still all gonna be for naught. They find another kill now. And pro Dota after picking... Right. You know, they've given up their jungle, they've given up the bottom right hand of the map, because Mag is just TP'd there with Fury, and they want the top. They wanna get him. Up here in the mid lane, though, right here, they've got the root already, but there is going to be the catch. Mag is gonna drop Troll on top of him, and Kaiser able to heal back up with the Quas Orbs, staying bare alive but now the Lycan's on top of no way to stop that with the PKB already popped for the Lycan. They drop the rock onto two, but maybe possibly you can get out of here still with the Legion Commander. A lot of damage being done. Able to walk away and now the troll beating down that Lycan. Triple kill for Garter. Earthshaker connects now. Catches onto Furby and body blocks coming in. Troll wants some more. He's hungry for these kills and it looks like Furbian is going to be the one to give it to him as the bashes come. The ultra kill for Troll Warlord. The baby, it's here. Oh man, that's really to try and scout out a little bit, see if you can find somebody. But uh, it is going to be a Roshan going into the favor of Pro Dota, who are just recently looking quite oh, to really get themselves going. Oh but god. As long as they can keep Troll Aegis until they break high ground, it's gonna be fine. And Milan solos Mag with Echo. Beautiful play down there. And the other thing too, he is going to dismantle this tower. Look at this thing go down. They dueled the Ember bot lane as well. He's gonna have to buy that. Oh god. Alright, damn it feels good to miss all the action is uh, looks like Troll still silenced up, hasn't popped his BKB as of yet, wants to save it, but Milan is gonna be brought down and upheaval keeping troll under wraps for the moment. They hold on to that Aegis, but they took the tier three. The Earthshaker being missing, but they didn't want to stick around. They oh, they found Yo again. They got him. Just inside a range of that sentry ward, and they managed to find the kill. And now over here at the top, they're gonna find that kill as well. It's completely falling apart for the side of the dire. They're gonna come in with Kaiser now. Mag getting ran down here. The fissure catches him right on the edge, and now Mag is certainly dead. A double kill there for 3-3 as the game is being completely taken over. You have the Lycan down bottom who's going to have to go for a split push play, but they're going to take all of the bakes and faces in time. You've still got the Alacrity Troll. They call for Tier 4s. Yeah. They've had enough. Tier 4s, they're they want this game to end. There's no grip here for the Dire either. So two plus four, the split push they wanted down the bottom. Like, they're, they're, <laughs> they're at their ulti and creeps right now with CM. They're going to buy back into this game right now. They don't have the Ember Spirit, but they have to hold. That's going to be a kill, though, onto the Legion Commander. Garner hitting away this tower. They need to stop this, but there's no way. They end up hitting with the Sprout. Is that going to be enough? They can't separate him. He's just hitting too hard. He's tearing down the Ancient, but the bash! He found the bash! No, it's not enough! Good game. Ends up getting called. Pro